Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and we're going to take a look at the Android L developer preview. Now you can see this looks a little bit different. This is on a Nexus 7 and the developer preview is available on the Nexus 5 and 2013 Nexus 7. You can flash the device and as you can see here, there is an all new design language that Google calls material design. Now you have your normal lock screen here where you can slide over to camera, or unlock and in this case we slide to unlock and you can see these nice animations and transitions and we're unlocked now this is their new wallpaper with the time obviously nothing really exciting here but on the main screen down below you've got new home buttons back buttons and app or task buttons they've changed these for better or for worse I'm not really sure but that's one of the main changes. One of the other things is notification center. So you can see there's two messages and I've pulled down and there's the drawer. I can swipe that away or I can keep it or I can pull down again and get more settings. So we have some quick settings. I'm honestly not sure if I like this yet because you have two steps to get to settings this way, but it's not too big of a deal and it really looks nice. So we'll pull down. And one of the next things we'll look at is the settings changes. Settings has been revamped. Now, one of the neat things with this whole design UI for material design is everything uh, kind of has a material place. And you can see if I pull down everywhere you touch is animated. Look at the top here. If I pull down and move across, it moves with me. And same with the bottom. So no more rubber banding. This is Android's own way of doing this. So it looks really nice and we've got all of these different options. So we've got home display. If you go into home, you'll see we've got the Google now launcher. I have it turned off just so I can show you the stock launcher. If I tap here, it will notice my finger here in the animation will start here. If I tap over here. It will start over here. So watch my finger there. We'll go back. If I tap and hold, you can kind of see that if I tap and hold over here on this side, it kind of flows out from where I touch. So it's kind of nice there. We'll go to the display options. Just go through every little option so you can take a look. Sound and notifications. Everything looks really nice and clean. Now this developer preview does not have all of the apps updated, such as Gmail. It just has the main UI done. There's some different storage. Some things that are running. You've got a nice little new load animation. We also have battery. And the developer preview is actually pretty stable so far. Looks good. We've got security. I think it looks really nice. We have language and input. We also have backup and reset. We have Google accounts. We can add an account. So you can see all the different ones that pop up there. We also have system date and time accessibility options, printing, and about the tablet. And you can see it's the L version. And at the top, we have a bunch of different options as well for NFC and more, Android Beam. And they've made a lot of different updates, not just to the UI, but to the back end as well. So other than this overview of the home screen. And the other thing I need to show you is the little app drawer here is a little bit different now. So these are all of your apps that are running. You can close them out or swipe them off the screen, just like before, just a little bit different looking. And if we want to go into this one, we can go into here. On the back end, there's actually 5,000 new APIs or over 5,000 APIs, which is funny since Apple announced 4,000 with iOS 8. So there's over 5,000 APIs on the back end of this with a new runtime that really should speed everything up when it comes to Android. There's some nice animations. When the battery gets low, the animations start to slow down. Nothing really new here with folders, but that's the basic premise. Now, the main thing, too, that a lot of people are going to be interested in is the keyboard. So let's open Chrome. And you can see the keyboard significantly different. Now this threw me for a little bit when I first started using it because there's no specific outlines for any of the keys. Now swipe works fine. And I don't know if it'll recognize Zolo tech here and it does, but it swipe works fine. And there's no problem there. You can see it loads fine, 
but the new keyboard's really pretty nice. I actually like it once I started to get used to it. And obviously this is Android, so if you don't like it, you can change it. You've got a little settings button here for Google keyboard settings, pops that up and you can see it comes over the top of it. And we go back, it will kind of go back behind it and then the keyboard will come forward. So let me do that again. Really nice animations, really smooth and fluid, especially for being first beta, basically. Now, other than that, there are a couple other different changes. One of the things I know or I mentioned was the enhanced notifications, and there's some other things as far as efficiency for more overviews over your usage controls, things like that. Now, this particular version obviously is really early on, and there'll be some changes. Gmail will change, and some of the other apps will change, but that's a quick look, and I thought I'd show you a little bit more in depth than maybe you've seen elsewhere. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Is there anything you're looking forward to with the Google L release for Android? Uh, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.